morning guys welcome to my channel my name's alex i do mum and lifestyle videos if you haven't been here before and please hit subscribe if that sounds good to you um so today i am going to do a video on redoing my drawers marie kondo style so if you haven't heard of marie kondo she is the um Japanese tidy expert that's all the rage on Netflix at the moment. So I am going to redo my chest of drawers Marie Kondo style. So Jed's helping me. He's here playing with my makeup brush at the moment. And so, you know, it's a little bit hectic in here. Lindsay's outside mowing the lawn. So um, yeah, typically on the weekend, we'll have to do things like that like mow the lawn do the grocery shopping do some odd jobs that are hard for me to do midweek when i'm just here with jed and he's just crawling down the hall towards the stairs so okay so i've just locked jed and i in the room i don't think he's going to be very happy about this arrangement but sometimes mama just has to get things done so you're in our room at the moment um and it's a mess down here so these are all my ikea cube boxes that i got that i'm going to use to organize my drawers so if you've seen an episode of tidying up with marie kondo um you'll know that she uses shoe boxes and any old boxes to organize like to compartmentalize stuff in the drawers but i need to have everything a bit more uniform than that so if you guys haven't discovered these ikea cubes they're just fabric boxes and i'll just show you over here it's so much more hectic in here doing this with a baby than you do it by yourself but anyway so this is my top drawer total mess of underwear absolutely everywhere jenny watch your hand gonna open the drawer now careful thank you this is my pajama drawer and this is careful just sort of home shorts and t-shirts types of things okay thank you Jelly. thank you darling thank you very helpful close the door thank you very much i'm just gonna get started so helpful jetty Mummy can't get into the drawers. That's cool, I'll just wait here. Lindsay's just turned on the lawnmower, so apologies if the noise is a bit bad. But I just wanted to show you step one is complete, which is to empty everything out onto your bed. So here are all my clothes. Just from my chest of drawers, this is not all of my clothes. I've still got my wardrobe. Um, and then the next step is to go through every item one by one and hold each item and see if it sparks joy for you so sparks joy according to Marie Kondo is when you hold the item and you get a little Eee! that's how she describes it so for example I can tell you these pants are going to get rid of them because I keep I keep putting them back on the in my drawer because I really like the pants but they're actually like I like the look of them, but they're uncomfortable. So I need to get rid of them because that doesn't spark joy.
Okay, so we're making pretty good progress here. I've gone through my clothes and this is my little pile of throwouts from my drawers, which not too bad considering it's just a small set of drawers. Now I have to do the part that I am dreading, which is sorting through my bras and socks. Socks and underwear is not so hard, but bras. And I've just got so many different ones in so many different sizes that I've kept since before pregnancy for like, what if I go back to that size? I don't want to have to start my whole collection again. And ugh, it's just complicated. So that's the, that's the thing. And now we have to go through the socks and decide what sparks joy. So pink banana socks. Hmm, sparks joy. Single purple stripy sock with no friend, no joy. That can go. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. You spark joy? Do you spark joy? You do. You do spark joy. <laughs> you can stay. in my room so this is my donate pile here and this is my chuck pile this is my top drawer we've got everyday underwear maternity bras fancier type underwear that I'll probably never wear socks The really good thing about this system is that because everything is just lined up, you can clearly see what you have, what you're working with. Um, and for example, I can see that I don't need to get any more flannel and pajamas. I have plenty of those. And um, yeah, it's just a good little system, I think. So that will be the next job. But I'm pretty happy with that progress. 